Uh, Japan is getting the, um, like an extra day. I don't know if we're getting an extra day. If it turns out the Japanese client is the only way to get an extra day, then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna download the Japanese client, maybe play some more tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, Hikari got it. Anyone can download it. Exactly. Yeah, and they're doing it every uh, every weekend up till the game comes out. So every every weekend we can we can do this. Uh, but yeah, um, to people who might not know what this is, this is like this is gonna be my main thing for for a hot minute. Uh, this is this Gundam game that's fucking amazing. Uh, and I'm, I'm playing this guy, he's from 0080, but you don't need to worry about where he's from. He has a shotgun, he's got rocket launchers, and he's really fucking good for how, how cheap he is. Oh, perfect. Okay, we're gonna beeline for that freedom. I still don't know what, how much I wanna like, uh, let me go up front. I don't know how much I want to like, uh, like narrate everything I'm doing in this yet, or if I want to be like, hey, we're just gonna like keep talking about like whatever the fuck while I'm doing it, you know? Because I can, I can kind of brain dead this at this point. Oh, I thought you were... Mm, I thought he got him. Okay. Oh, I learned something really dumb. Do you want to see it, guys? What the fuck? Oh, Lou, thank you! Probably a few of my donations bounty the new one. I think you need to manually accept it since I pay in cat. Yeah, I had to. I had to manually accept your uh, your donations, and I didn't realize I didn't accept a few of them. So like, yeah, I think they did bounce. You didn't. You did not have to redo that. But thank you very much. I appreciate it, dude. All right, now now he's gonna come back and be hella weak. Let me get up. Oh, he just... That was a good burst. He's dead. He's gonna sit on his face. There we go. But thank you, Lou. You didn't have to fucking do that. Thank you. Oh, and Trick Nasty. Hey, thanks for gifting him a sub. Much appreciated. Yeah, this is PvP. This is a this is a two on two. Uh, the best way to describe it is it's a two on two arena bullet hell shooting fighting game. Because you're you're only seeing me shoot and stuff, but like it has full melee dudes. If you're into melee stuff, you can totally play melee suits. They're really hard to play though, because this game is with its like bullet helly nature. Everybody is trying to keep you out. Uh, but you can totally get in, and once you get in, you can you can be real scary. There we go. Uh, being two on two, you know you want to protect your partner and shit. Oh, we got a walker! We got a walker! That's another thing too. Is this game is a, uh, it's a little, a little different than other games. The way movement works, because you're robots, you gotta hit like a button to use your little booster, and most people don't realize that, so they walk like this guy. He's learned that the melee button is triangle, but he has not learned how to boost yet. But that's fine. Catch him still. I think I still got him with some. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah. There we go. Nice. This is casual. Uh, I might make. Uh, I'm probably gonna make a lobby later. I'm, I'm, I might. I might make a lobby later. Take care, Griff. Hey, let me. I've, I've been looking at the game a bunch. I've always been better with melee and Gundam versus probably because I'm a masher. Y yes, if you're a masher, then melee tends to make more sense. You have to. You gotta have. You gotta have a few. Uh, a few brain wrinkles to be a ranged person. I got him down. Yeah, like, man, this game's literally perfect. It's so good. Nice, got him against the wall. Ah, oh, super short. We're gonna win this? So easy. We're doing fine. I'm waiting for him to use his burst. I probably should have recovered there. Is he- he really died twice? How, did I die yet? I don't remember. Oh boy, okay. Now I- now I gotta- now I gotta run. <laughs> yeah, like that's- it really is the only thing, you know. It is- it is a two-on-two -two game, so if your partner sucks, then you- you aren't gonna do as well, but... Yeah, it's fine. These games are so short anyway that, like, it's not a huge deal. Like, I think it's really... I'm, I'm gonna say it's really hard to be mad at this game, but I totally got super mad last night. <laughs> but yeah, that's what you gotta remember. Two things. Uh, always, always overheat. Boost until you overheat, and then uh, it's your partner's fault when you lose. If you, if you do those two things, you'll be a great player. What's different between this and Versus? Um, this has, uh, has, has, is a good game. That's the difference. Did you like that? Set up like I was gonna say something real. Nice, good pickup, good pickup. Serve that to you on a silver platter. Ooh, good shit. Alright, good. Good job, good job. Nice, very good. Get out of here. Okay. Shooting burst is so dumb, I love it. And he's dead. <sighs> he used his Toggy move. He used his Toggy move. I thought I killed him. He's lucky. He's lucky he knows how to use his move. <laughs> Boost dive is not a nice feature. Get out of here. Turn that game terrible. Boost dive sucks. Destroys all neutral. The entire game is just... Wrong. Disagree. Boost dive sucks. Strikers suck. Uh, but, um, I could try to do, um, 
I could try to talk a bit more about what I'm doing in the match. Or would you like, uh, boost dive isn't like, I guess you could consider boost dive like super dash in the sense that it kills neutral. But boost dive is worse than super dash. Can't wait to plan to stream the dot hat games. I will do my best to be here for every single one of those streams. Yes, I still, I still want to do it. I just, I haven't been in the best mindset to do shit like that. <gasps> Excelia on my team. Fuck yeah, I love Excelia. No, Jay Bull, I love landing. I just know how to land. Kira taught me how to play Epi on it, some big brain stuff. Yeah. Did he armor through that? Like that first one? Yes, Excel, you're so good. I missed my AC. I'll do a half first. Shooting burst is so dumb on Camper. Look at that. So good. Yeah, the double OAD stuff is really good. I'll keep the music on here for now, but eventually when I get tired of Gundam music, I'll, we'll put on our own stuff. Oh, just afraid I missed him. There we go. Need him one. Come on, Talia. Nice, very good. Hey, good shit. Good job. I understand about having a wrong mindset ever since moving on my on the first. My brain has been scattered so much. I picked up Dragon Ball Fighters and I still haven't even started it. Dude, I feel that. What the fuck? Hey, Blade Master, thank you for the fucking ten dollar dono, my dude. You didn't have to do that. Thank you. Thanks. You're one of the key reasons I'm able to be so open up my likes and interests now. I can never thank you enough for that. Thank you. I'm, I'm happy you're able to be open about that kind of stuff, you know? Life's too short to not... to care about that kind of shit, you know? You like what you like. As long as you're not hurting anybody, who gives a shit? Well, thank you, Blade Master. I, I really appreciate it. Oh, now I'm with that Strike Noir. Okay, now that's what he's doing. Let's go, dude. Walking Lupus. Good sign. I think that second one went through. Oh, I did. Nice, good fucking job. There we go. What's Char's best suit in this? Um. Hmm. Most of his suits are pretty good. Uh, it depends on which one you want to do. Uh, he has he has ones for all the cost ranges. Like Sazabi is pretty good. Um, his uh his Zaku is pretty pretty all right. Can't believe I missed that. I'm pooping up this real bad. <sighs> Didn't have a Duke shot. I'm an idiot. I'm still gonna get that intuitive freedom. Knows a bit what he's doing. Okay, here we go.
Nice! That guy, he knew what he was doing. I'm glad we got that guy. Let me look at the tier list really quick, because I'm going to be that guy. I don't remember, like, what his, what Char's best one is. I know, I know Sazabi's pretty good. Yeah, Sazabi's pretty good. Yeah, this this guy right here. This one from I don't know if you've seen Char's counter attack. Oh, let, let me move my fucking thing. I don't know if you've seen Char's counter attack, but that one is good. Oh, you'll be happy to know if you ever want to. I know I'm going to try learning him. Uh, I think they still have it in this. Uh, that is that is Liam from Serial Killers. Oh, yeah. The Liam of Serial Killers fame. Uh, he has an alt costume. At least I, I, they had it in uh, full boost. I don't know if you remember that. Can I... Oh, I can't change the pilot here. But he had a costume in... Uh, Full boost where he had this the the outfit from that scene of just him like shaved in the suit he's really good yeah unfortunately eli isn't um but that would that would have been really good um <laughs> Liam was one of your mains in verses? Hell yeah. Uh, I'm just looking at all the other shit. Okay, yeah, so I think Sazabi is, like, the main, like, super good one. And then everything just kind of floats around B tier after that, which is, like, which is fine in this game. So I think Sazabi is probably your best bet if you if you want to be, like, a really good Char suit. Um, his Gelgu, I don't know if his Gelgu was nerfed super hard, but his Gelgu was always, like, pretty good. His Aku's okay. Um, Zeong, Zeong is, I think, still pretty good, but, uh, you need, like, I was about, I was about to say you need ten fingers. Uh, you need ten fingers to play Zeong. <laughs> yeah, Hyakushiki's actually really cool. I think, I think you might like Hyakushiki, but that's piloted by Quattro Bajina, who's a different person. So I don't know why you brought him up. <laughs> How's Zaku amazing? Zaku amazing is really good in uh, uh, Extreme Versus Two. He is he just got added like in in this beta. He wasn't even in the last one, so people have only like today been able to play him in this game. So shrug, we'll see. Um. Yeah, no, the dog is pretty, pretty, pretty up there. Like no goofing, the dog is pretty good. Uh, there's, a, there's a few of the the cheapo ones that are actually pretty cool. I'm sad the Kapools suck in this one though. Like they barely had some like janky stuff in verses. I need to learn Turne though. I love Turne. You cannot play specifically the horse, but you can. I mean, if you want to be an animal, that th we're talking about this. You, you can be the dog. Uh, there, there is a a dude who is who pilots a dog. And summons other dogs. Hey, Common Zero, how's Unicorn? Oh, Unicorn's great. Unicorn and uh, Full Armor are very good. Yeah, you can ride the horse. Uh, if, if you pick God, you can ride the horse. And if you pick Master, you can summon the horse. Oh yeah, X suits are amazing. All the X suits are really good. X divider, uh, regular ass X, Vers uh, Versago. Versago in particular is like one of the best backs, I think. Versago's great. Yeah, Endless Waltz is its own thing, because they're 
technically their own thing. All the OVAs, like even though we have Gundam 00, but the Gundam 00 movie is its own category too. Any of the more obsque, obsc yeah. obscure G Gundam suits? The most obscure, not really. Uh, you do have shorts in this though. Um, I don't, I don't remember if you played uh, played him in full boost, but Rising is the new one, and Shining are here. I don't, I don't think these two were in full boost. Uh, but the most obscure you probably get is him and Dragon. They just had a fucking Maxter in two, but we'll see if they backport him to this one. Bo uh, Master is definitely... I, th I think Master is better than Burning God, whatever the fuck you want to say. Let me check the tier list to confirm if my my suspicion is correct. Da -da -da -da. Okay, yeah, yeah. Looking... Here's the... Let me pull this up. So, under... It's a little bigger. The best one is like fucking reborns. He's just dumb. Uh, but uh, master is like B is still good though. You can play B in this. B, B tier is fine. You you can play B tier. Um, a tier is obviously like you want to play A tier, but like look how many things are in A tier. Like there's a ton of people in A tier. Uh, not 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 as much in 2K. Is like almost every fucking 2K is is basically B tier. And, like, yes, they're kind of in order, but, like, because this is a two-on-two -two game, a lot of the, you know, how good they are depends on who's your partner and who are you fighting. Like, there's a bunch of variables, so don't worry too much about tier lists. Honestly, if you find somebody you like and you have a partner who can make it work, you can make a lot of shit work. Um, but, yeah. Oh, my God, I fucking hate Vile. But, yeah, there's only one dude in S tier, and he's he just... Double busted. I never finished you Gundam, but no Devil Gundam or whatever. The scary big bad. Yeah, there, there's no Devil. None of like the big. No, no big guy. Camphor is, is high tier. Camphor is very good. Which makes sense. Camphor is disgusting. Basically, anybody who has special movement um, is very good in this game. Because, you know, boost is like your main resource. If there's a person you can pick who has a way to move without using boost or move even if they're about to be out of boost, which Camper and Rigazi and Blue Destiny and Exia can do. Like, all those people are very good. Like, GPO3 has a special movement. Uh, Darkhound has special movement. Strike Noir has special movement. Reborn, like, this is the reason he's so fucking good. His thing where he changes to cannon form and back, he can, like, kind of keep doing that. It's really annoying. Um, oh, yeah, Alex is really good. From what I remember, or maybe not. Okay, no. Bot bottom of B tier. But Alex is... You can play Alex. Alex works. I know people that use Alex, and they do fine. And Alex is really fun, too, because Alex, like, starts with the armor. Uh, so, like, you, you eat a ton of hits. Uh, you basically start the game with super armor, and then you can get it back. But, like, uh, you know, Extreme versus 2. Man, I wish we got the fucking Extreme versus High New. I don't know where Zaku Amazing is on here. I feel like he's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, so he's an A tier in, in Extreme Versus 2. So I can only imagine if his kit's similar that he'll he'll be around here. Um, but yeah. I, I would say avoid C tier. Uh, but yeah, this is... They just added these guys. They're like, we don't know yet. We don't know Zaku Amazing or Montero because they're, they're new. Um... But, like, honestly, like, do you see how much stuff is in B tier? And this is a game where, like, it is, it's two on two. You have opponents and you have partners who are going to be changing the dynamic uh, on the fly all the time. There, there's so many things you can do. Don't, don't worry too much about tiers, honestly. But it's a good reference to go, like, hey, I want to I wanna have a decent time learning the game. I'd say pick a higher tier dude. And then once you're... Once you feel more comfortable playing the game, you could try a lower tier person. Like, I know you want to be a low tier hero. We all do. Um, but I think you'll learn more from the game if you pick a higher tier thing and just just get a get the feel for it. And then once you are once you're better, you learn how to work around the shortcomings of certain things. 
Like, I'm so happy Blue Destiny is like top tier in this one. I'm so fucking excited. But I think I'm more consistent with Camper. Uh, I want to keep doing some casual match stuff, and then I'll open a lobby where I'm probably just going to hit random. Because if we're going to, I'll do a shuffle lobby and just pick whatever the fuck and see what happens. Unless there's like a certain suit people want to see that I could like try out, but I'm honestly, I want to keep getting more Camper practice right now. And then I think I'll do that. I'll, I'll narrate what I'm doing in the game to kind of give people an idea of how it works. And then we can talk about some random shit. Yeah, tiers are a difficulty rating, exactly. Okay, so we're teamed up with uh, Sharzaku, and they have a double 3k. Very unfortunate. We just have to kill one of them, or we have to kill both of them one time, and we win. Uh, they got Strike Freedom and Master. We're going to see what they want to do. Uh, I, I want to go forward more in this, because um, I can die more often. I cost 1,500 out of our total 6,000 points. So me dying, I can die four times uh, before we lose. Uh, my master got me before my thing. Okay, he knows how to do the whip. Uh, let me do the special movement here on him. Got the horse. Get that landing. Okay, I got him there. Got caught in a strike freedom melee, which sucks, but like, they're double 3k, and they're both going in hard, so I think we're actually doing fine. Because they just have to both die once and we win, and I don't think they're doing no health proration. They're not paying attention at all. I think they're both new players. Um, because I don't think they realize that they both just have to die once and they like lose entirely because now master is close to dead strikes close to dead and we're, we're doing really good he's dead now strikes almost dead run in dead we win uh this game's very fast and if you're not um you know it has a very clear like early middle late game kind of going on too you have to pay attention to your health of you and your partner like all the time it takes a lot from like MOBAs and platformers. I know I memed about this too. Grant Grant talks about how like Smash has more in common with a platformer than a fighting game. I think this has more in common with Smash than other fighting games too. You know how like in Smash Brothers, you're you're all about like stage control. Like you want to be. Oh, let me move my camera back. Um, you're all about where um, your. Uh, You're all about where you are on the stage and like your goal is like to knock people away and like that's how you win in this game but also like field control is the most important thing um if you can back somebody in a corner you're cutting off their direction so like you notice that like he landed next to a cor uh, next to the wall near the end and i knew he was next to the wall i had shooting burst i'm just gonna spam my shotgun because i know he can't go he can only go one direction and my shotgun's gonna hit him either way he goes so fuck it you're next to the wall shotgun you're dead uh, we're both double 1k, so we're both really weak um, against Stargazer and Akatsuki. I think they're both 2k's from what I remember. I think one might be 2.5. Um, so Stargazer is going in. Uh, Akatsuki doing more zoning stuff. I am playing more. There's two roles in this game. There's a front and a back. Um, you don't learn that unless you really want to learn. Um, where like one, basically one person goes in. We were talking about like board, like board space. My card game shit's coming out. Uh, field space and like you know you want to have have some kind of control over where things are uh, on the arena and so what that means is you want one person up front as in closer to where they are and then one person in the back like farther away and because um, because like fields are going to constantly keep changing who's front and who's back is important to maintain uh, you want to be aware of where your partner is and where you are in relation to them and the enemy at all times. Uh, so, like, the mini-map, if you can, uh, you don't need the mini-map all the time. If you're just swapping locks frequently enough, you'll be fine. Uh, but Stargazer's low, so we're going to go in. And I got Shooting Burst. I can just do this stupid shit. Like, Shooting Burst lets you spam so much stuff, and I have a full burst. Like, there's really nothing he can do here. I don't think he knows how to deal with this. And he's about to get up and deal with it again. I uh, had green lock there for a sec. Um, a lot of things are really busted in this game, too. This game's philosophy of balance is make everything broken. Uh, and just some people are more broken than others. Uh, but that's like, I love that. That's, that's a good philosophy. Um, there's three types of burst in this game. So, like, I have shooting burst, which means that when I use it, it's like, you get this little burst gauge thing at the bottom left. 
that's this, right? I think it's the bottom left here, and it's going down. In Shooting Burst, you instantly refresh all your stuff. You can cancel every single shot. Normally, I can only shoot one of these. Uh, and this move moves me left or right. So now in Shooting Burst, I can move back and forth and basically dodge everything and just throw all this shit at you. I'm just gonna fill you up with bazookas because my reload rate is super high. I can cancel everything into another one of itself. Like, Shooting Burst is dumb. Fighting Burst is just as dumb. You can cancel any melee thing, and any fucking melee thing. Like, uh, and then Extend Burst is really good if you wanna stay alive because it lets you activate it at half, uh, if you're getting a uh, hit, which is really nice. Um, but now I got a sniper friend, so he's gonna stay in. This will be a good demonstration, hopefully. So I go up front, he stays behind. Um, oh, Forbidden's a very good character. Uh, Tuggy's too, in the hands of a good player, is very scary. We'll have to see if he's good. Like, I just got him with that fucking stray thing here. Um, all right, they're getting a little out of position here gonna go okay he's he's mailing him i gotta go save him there we go eating some shots but it's fine i want to get him off my partner and if i die it's okay like dying is fine it is okay to die in fact you should die because dying gives your partner um burst and as we've seen burst is really dumb uh unfortunately didn't get much off of that one but we're gonna get another one too uh so now he's he's getting hit with that shit forbidden's kind of hard locking him which sucks. I'm gonna try and uh, make some more, make some more noise over here. But I also don't want to die. Okay, he died. Good. There we go. Got that. All right, cool. I got 90 health. There. Let's see, Puggy's two. Damn, he fucking sidestepped that, and I was out of out of fucking stuff. But that's okay. All right. So now Toggy's gonna come back with like three fourths of his health. I'm gonna focus him. I think we can we can still cinch this. Unfortunately, I don't think Dynamis is doing a ton of stuff. He's, he's missing a few snipes, but that's okay. There we go. That was a little scary for a second, but we got it. Um, so, hey, nice. Good job. Good job, man. Uh, I, ha I had a rough beginning there. I, I died when I burst in, but, you know. That, that is like what's going through my head during a lot of this is like, where are we positionally? What can I do? Uh, you combine that with like executing all this crazy stuff and games are really fast as well. So, you know, they're going to they're going to be going. Uh, they're going to be going pretty quickly. If you lose, it's fine. It took what? Two minutes. Go back do another one. Is this a game that requires training mode time, or is this way more just learning by playing? Absolutely. I, I think training mode can help you, but I don't think you even need to. Uh, training mode just to learn. Like, if you're going to be playing Master, yes, you need training mode. You need training mode to learn his melee cancels. Because, like, this does have combos. This has things where, like, and cancel routes and stuff. And it's not obvious, like, what cancels into what unless you play it. Like, like this character, it doesn't tell you anywhere that I can do my, my sliding thing into that move anywhere. Uh, because that move where I'm shooting out like the little thingies normally is just this, right? Normally I just sit there and shoot it from my hip. They don't teach you that you can do it from the slide and uh, and get that out. So like you could also learn that through playing too. You don't need training mode to do that. Um, but this is much. This is like a completely neutral game. This is almost entirely neutral. Uh, spacing is the name of the game here. Not entirely like footies and stuff, but you give everybody lasers and bazookas that track, uh, suddenly space becomes a lot more important. Oh, I lost the track there. Oh fuck, I hit him out of that combo from a bad partner. Good fucking laser. Oh damn, I, <laughs> I shot him out of it. Uh, I need to change my comm to put an I'm sorry on here. Akatsi's low on health, I'm just gonna bully him. We're, we're at a really good spot right now. I'm not worried in the slightest. They would, things would have to go catastrophically bad for anything to happen here. He's gonna be out of boost in a second. Uh, was stuck in stun though. I just wanna kill him. Good, he uses burst. Let's kill him. Dead. Like, and you, do you you see how quickly that happened? Like, he used his burst, and in that that split second that he used his burst, I like you, suddenly the dynamic shifted. 
Like, oh, I know exactly what to do. I hit this button and you're dead. If you can kind of match that quick timing on the fly, you're going to do really well in this game. Uh, so I'd say this is less a game about training mode and more of adaptability because it's going to be changing all the time. And you can't you can't training mode that, especially against like a dummy or the CPU. Um, it's a lot of player psychology too of seeing what they're going to do. If, you know, I'm over here meleeing from this far away. If you see a player coming in doing this shit, every time they get knocked down, they come back in and try to melee you again then you know that all you have to do is sidestep and shoot them in the face, and you'll get them. Uh, that's another thing, too, is this game has a whole bunch of movement options and stuff. Uh, learning how to sidestep and learning how to move, that can maybe benefit from some training mode stuff. Please put the god guns on the team. Fuck you. Okay. So, I think we're on a double front here. Because, uh, let, let's face roll. Let's go fucking bonkers. Let's go, dude. Uh, see, look, he can ride the horse. Look at that. Isn't that fun? Um, I'm going to try and knock it separate him. That's very hard when you have a G Gundam partner. Because they only know how to go forward and hit triangle. Oh, he has a combo into... He has a combo into fucking... God finger. Nice. Alright, that's fine. Away from the land. There we go. Uh, he's gonna get up and rush me. I know, he's, he's doing more neutral stuff. He's actually doing better neutral stuff with God than other people do. Oh no, I didn't mean to fucking do that. Try to get my AC out. Where's my AC? Okay, and of course my partner's just going going right in. Whoops. There we go. Kill him! Kill him! Okay. Alright, Montero's gonna have half health. And go for one of these. Yeah, like that other that other god knew way more what he was doing than than mine did. But you know what happens sometimes. You can you can do everything, and sometimes sometimes shit still goes wrong. But it's cool. Hi, next rock goes good. Also, tip is that some have special movement options like rolls and side jumps that you can use like a dodge. Yeah, exactly. That's like some characters that are really good, like. The reason Camper is super good is like, look at this. This is not only an attack, but also a dodge. I frequently catch people trying, you know, they'll try to come melee you and then, oh, I'm now behind you and filling you with a bazooka. Um, and you know, so you want to mix up your approaches. You're running into a guy, like do, do something different, you know, get a little step boost and then shoot him. So you, you can do a bunch of different things, but uh, I have this crazy move. And you'll see how it, it costs the exact same. If you look at the little boost gauge at the bottom, that costs the same as this. So what am I going to do all the time? I'm fucking doing that, dude. I'm blitzing right to your face. Uh, and then bouncing all over the place. Oh, don't give me the Kapools. Okay, good. Oh, wait, no, actually, now that I think about it, the Kapool play is probably better than this Death Scythe. But we'll find out. Uh, Death Scythe obviously wants to go up front. I think double front will be fine here. I could try to support him. I can see. Is he walking? Are you walking? Yeah, no, I think it's I'm going to try and babysit him. We'll see how this goes. I want to play more support. I think anytime I see a G or a wing dude, I'm just going to play babysitter. Okay, we got him. I'm going to wait. I didn't hit him. He didn't go through. He didn't go through his beam. You, everyone wants that. It's super easy bait. Uh, get right in their face. Make them want to hit the melee button, and then do a fucking dodge roll or shoot him with a shotgun right in their face. All right, we traded. That's good. So we killed the 2K before the 3K. So now when we kill the 3K, he's gonna come back with like a third of his life. So now we're just gonna fucking sit on him. 
You can't ignore the 2k though, you have to make sure that they're at least taken care of, so knock you down. Run in, AC. Oh, use his burst, let's kill him. He's dead, he's gonna come back with a third of his health. And you know what, Death Scythe, you got it. I'm gonna go kill this guy. If you can't kill a Kapool, I don't. I don't know, man, I don't know what to tell you. Oh, I tried to go for the meaty, but the building was in the way. Okay, I he was about to die if I didn't do that. There we go. <laughs> Alright. I think babysitting early game. Anytime I see a wing or a G-suit, <laughs> we'll be smarter. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna bully the newbies on the other team. <laughs> yeah, they're the kitty gun. That burning Gundam was me, how did I do? Were you the one who knew what he was doing in neutral? The one who was actually stepping and using A? Yeah, you're the one we were fighting, right? Because if it did, you did, you did good. You just wanted to use his edgy scythe. I know, I know. Yeah, no, you did good. Oh my god, a Harut. Okay. Uh, this thing? Oh, nice. Hell yeah. Who am I partnered with? Oh my god, I'm with a heavy arms. Oh, this heavy arms knows what he's doing! Fuck yes! Okay, I'm with a god heavy arms. I'm going up front. This is, this is so fun. Heavy arms that knows what he's doing is on another level. Like, to play heavy arms, you have to use so many flips. You have to hit so many buttons. I swear to god. It's kind of unreal what good heavy arms players do. Just watch him move. He steps, he flips. Look at this, look at that. You do the dive, you jump, flip, bam. Like, look at him, are you seeing this shit? He's so, I love it. I love a good heavy arms. He's, they're the best partner you could have. Look at him go, look at him go. I got you, buddy, I fucking got you. Like, th this is a really good team, too. Can't, can't for front with heavy arms back. They have so many, they have so many movement options. Like, you just can't fucking touch them. That was great. You were so good. The heavy arms movement is so fucking cool. Um, but you, I mean, your APM, like, you have to be doing StarCraft 2 APM to play heavy arms. Literally, you're sitting there like, just moving. Uh, but that's another thing too is like uh, the way this game works, you know, you have uh, only four buttons. You have A, B, and C. So you got shoot, melee, and then boost, right? And then in different orders, like, you know, so shoot and melee get you your, your sub weapon. Um, shoot and uh, boost, or whatever, your side weapon is shoot and melee, uh, your sub weapon is shoot and boost, whatever the fucking lexicon is. A, B, B, C, and, uh, A, B, A, C, and B, C. And so if you hit melee and, um, and boost, usually this is what they call the, your special, uh, your special movement usually for people, or your special melee move. Uh, so like, B, C on the G Gundam suits is usually, uh, like the finger moves and stuff like that. They're moves that, like, move you on the field. Uh, Heavy Arms has two of them, if I remember correctly. He has one of them is the flip, and he has another that's like a dive. Uh, and like his his melee stuff, I think he, he hits like down and melee. Uh, like for me, is like I use I get those mines out. Um, some people have like command normals like that and stuff. Um, Ultron is, is a pretty good suit too. Uh, Against Strike Noir and Dark Hound, they're they're both top tier. They're both very good. Love to see if they know what they're doing. Okay, good. Ultron, Ultron got him down. Oh fuck. Staggered him, but didn't knock him down. There we go. I tried to bait some melee, but he didn't take. God, oh, I was, I was in fucking boosty boost. Nice, good job. Oh shit, yeah, I, I hit him out of it. That was my bad. Okay, all right. 
All right, good. Good, he's got him. Shrek now wants my blood. Where's his boost? Or his burst? There it is. Okay, now we can kill him. And here we go. Fuck! Traded. Okay. Get that landing. Ooh, good. I thought he, I needed more boost than that. Oh, Ultron's got him. Nice. Ultron has some really cool movement, too. Uh, next rock, by the way, thank you for the five pundo. Haven't gotten to watch your streams. Just want to say you are making me smile after a bad day. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Good job, Ultron. You did good. Okay. If you see Izaku amazing, it's cribs me. Oh, hell yeah, Morbid. Bile is also... Oh, I hate fighting Bile, but I love when they're my partner. Fuck yeah, let's go, dude. Uh, Bile is like is like Epion, but good. Because, again, people with special movement are really good. He has this movement where he, like, does this thing. You'll see him do it, I'm sure. He knows what he's doing. And also, he carries people to the skybox. Watch. Is he going to do it? Okay, no, he's, he's doing the dunk. All right, so we're fighting a, a 3K, and I think he's a 2K? I don't remember. If we kill Togi's 2 first, that's always better. You always want to kill the guy before the big guy, because then you make the big guy. I'm so sorry, Bile. I, my my smallest hitbox is the size of Texas. Awesome, good. We're, we're doing amazing. Like, we have nothing to worry about. Dead. Oh, yeah, let me cancel this. All right, good. Let's go. Let's go bully this double O. No. Was that was that even a minute? But do you see how fast these games can go sometimes? I love it so much. Good job, Bile. You're great. Good about to make lunch dinner. Sounds like this is only playable on weekends. I'll probably mess with some tomorrow or next week if that's the case. Dude, yes! I would love to play this with you. We can do um we can set up uh, player lobbies and shit too. If you get it, uh, did you get it downloaded? I'm not, we're not sure if they're going to, um, have it open tomorrow. There's a rumor that it'll be open tomorrow, but we're not sure. It typically opens up, uh, 10 o'clock for us, like Friday night until 10 o'clock on Saturday. Oh, you just purchased, purchased it? Nice. But yeah, dude, I'd love to play. Whoever you pick up, we can, we can make it work. This game's so fucking fun. It's just so fast. All right, I'll try to same same thing. We're gonna try and babysit. Keep our keep our shining Gundam happy. There we go. Oh, I thought I thought I, that wouldn't hit you. There we go. Almost. Shining, I'm sorry, watch out. Okay, there's, there's the burst. That strike the Rouge really wants my butt. I know how to play so much more. This is why everybody loves side seven. I love neutral and side seven. It's so good. Oh, fuck. Well, you know, hey. I saved you, all right? I'm gonna go for the meaty, meaty wake up. See if it works. Or, 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 or. Yeah, no, another good track. Take care, Grant. Thanks for hanging out, dude. I'd love to play this with you. But uh, but uh, an error occurred during the match. <laughs> yeah, it's a moral victory, that's for sure. Uh, okay. Let's see. 
I don't think of anything else like generic to go over. Man, every time we play on side seven, you realize how good it is. Oh, well, we got Mega Man X nine thousand one hundred. All right, time for Omega babysitting. Let's do it. The salt must flow. Dude, rage quit before we even start. Nice, nice. They saw our team comp and knew that Mega Man X 9100 was going to run train on them. I'll do a handful of more camp for things just because I know what I'm doing here, but it's going to be eight, which means I think if, if it is going to run out, it's going to run out in two hours and 15 minutes. I don't know. I don't think anybody knows if it's going to keep, if it's going to extend through yet for the North American one. But I might fucking go pre-order the Japanese one just to keep playing more. We'll see. Oh, Strike Noir. Let's go, dude. Okay. Quanta. I think I've seen this Raiden guy before. I can't remember if he knows what he's doing. A Johnny Raiden, Zaku. You don't have to worry too much about him. But the reason Camper works so well up front is that you can just deny so much melee stuff. Like, you see him trying to melee me, and I can just zip, zop, zoobity bop around everything. I think that Ryan doesn't know what he's doing. God, Strike Noir, you're such a good partner. I know Lily wants to play Strike Noir. Can't wait to duo Q with my Tomodachi. Yep, no, I'm just, I'm just taking this. You spent your burst and you're rushing in my face and I'm in burst. What do you think I'm gonna do? Oh, I went right back into the fucking lock on. That, that call is really good. See, like, he's not he's not stepping his melee approaches. He's next to a wall. Oh, his fucking shield bits. There we go. Good job, partner. Partner did great. Okay, next 1,100. You'd be scared too, right? What do you play after Camper? Um, I want to get my turn A back. Uh, I played a bit of turn A in full boost. Um, not a ton though. I played turn A way more seriously in versus. I'd like to practice turn A more. Um, but I'd like to find a 2500 that I can play. Because 2500 is like a really good... Like, you can kind of control the way the game plays if you're a 2500. Like, for as good as Camper is, Camper doesn't have the ammo that a 2500 has. Camper has like... Nine shots. And then has to wait. So, you know, you only get nine chances to do damage before you're stuck reloading on stuff. So, yeah. You have to be very careful with your ammo. Um, that, that's Camper's biggest problem. Which is, it's good. If Camper had more ammo, Camper would be fucking busted. Ooh, fucking double O and Arios. That, that's a scary team. And I have Rising. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. Um, Steel! Oh, my God! I remember Steel! I wonder if Steel remembers me. Uh, we used to play full boost together. I know Steel knows what they're doing. Oh, 
There's Quant. Let's shut you down. One of those out. Nope. Okay, I died to the sword. All right, they're they're bullying my partner. Just gotta shut that down. There we go. Woo! Good job. No, that was that was a good save. Good save, Rising. Okay. All right. Try to punish that. Didn't get anything. Whenever you see anybody landing, try to punish it. I I I'm still working on my landing punishes, but that's like that's kind of the name of the game. My my bazooka's track so well that I. I can afford to spam some stupid shit. Nice. I can see how well those track. I can, I can get away with some, some dumb shit. Oh, nice! That that caught. Okay. There we go. Alright, he's gonna come back low. Nice. Alright, we sit on this and we bully. Nice! Oh my god, the moving AC is so good. That was good. I went really well. I was worried. Yeah, turn A gameplay is super fun. And turn A's got a nuke. Hi, kid, dude. Welcome back, bro. Uh, oh yeah, Blue Destiny. I do want to like Blue Destiny. I need to. I know I mentioned you don't need to lab too much in this game, but Blue Destiny, I do need to lab something. A lot of Blue Destiny has like Blue Destiny has this weird movement thing you can do with like the new uh, the movement they gave him. Is that the same heavy arms? Oh no, please. Is that the same guy? I don't remember if that's the crazy heavy arms. I don't want to be up against crazy heavy arms. We'll find out. Oh, what the fuck? Hey, next rock, thank you for the 550. That's more bits, buddy. You did not have to do that. Thank you. That crazy heavy arm is one of my top suits. He's super fun. Uh, let me hang on. I gotta. That's a good time as any for me to go get some, uh, go get something to uh, drink really quick. Water. Uh, give me one sec. I will be right back. <laughs> 